is when a man from Mississippi started filling our dance floors. <laughs> Alexander O'Neill. Fantastic. Takes you a, back, doesn't that it? That really does. And, and I'm such a rubbish dancer. Every one of those hurts as it goes past because I know <laughs> I've done rubbish dances to all of them. And welcome. It's lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you. you Thank much, you for having uh, me. For coming in. Now, of course, all, the, all of those, you know, sort of uh, intrinsically your songs, recognised as your songs, but with the, with the new album, for the first time, really, you've, you've gone for other people's songs. Yeah, this is uh, actually the first time I've had the opportunity to, to do other people's material and... You know, I've always wanted to, uh, you know, it was, so it was a great challenge when we got the opportunity to do this from uh, EMI. Uh, mm. you know, of course, I leaped on it and said, hey, let's do it. So yeah, these are all great. the ones that you look at and you think, oh, I wish I'd done that. Oh, I wish that was mine. Well, definitely. You know, I mean, there's a lot of times, and especially singers' careers, you know, you hear great songs and then you always want to, you know, you, you wish that you had recorded that song, you mm. know. And uh, this, this album, uh, Alex Loves, uh, which is out now. Uh, Let me hold it up for you. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, this, song, this album, you know, we had a chance to, uh, to do a lot of songs that I really have a lot of respect for mm. and a lot of great artists and different kinds of stuff because me being an R&B singer, obviously, you know, sometimes they would just expect R&B music, but yeah. there's all types of uh, different songs but on you've this got album. To, you've got to then put the Alexander O'Neill thing on it. <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. you've got to put the Alexander O'Neill thing on it. No, it was, it was really good because, you know, this was... Uh, I didn't want to do an album of um, karaoke, trying to, you know, uh, be as close to the original artist as possible. I said, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to have to do it my way. I got to do my little feelings and my little things. And, and the company said, cool. And I said, okay, let's go. So you started off, I think, with kind of 30 songs that you liked, and then you got to hone that right down to 12, 15 or something. That, yeah. that must be difficult, too, when you've got all your favorite songs you want to record. Well, there are other songs that, you know, I, that we did record that I really like. You can't get them all on the, on the CD these days. It's hard for making that transition from album to CD. Yeah. On the uh, album, shall I say. And, uh... But this was... It's these always were nice if you've got a second one pre-recorded. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And are you touring with this one, Alex? You yes, we are. We are touring around the UK, starting out on um, the 8th of uh, Catford. We'll be in Catford, 10th of Nottingham, and all around. Uh, you even, love it even on play stage, Luton, eh? somewhere close to London. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, you uh, you, you, you uh, home on stage. You love love being on stage. Oh, that's that's the best of me. I mean, that's where I enjoy it. And, and mostly, I really enjoy coming to the UK and performing because my fans have been so loyal over the last 20-some years. They grow up with you and they also grow older yeah. with you. Uh, and uh, it's just a, a real treat to come back to perform here for my fans. Well, there's a whole second generation of the O'Neill family coming through now, because your son, mm. Carlton, he's, he's up for it as well, isn't he? Yeah, well, I do have some talented, some very talented children, uh, and I wanted to, I never tried to saddle them with following in my footsteps. I always wanted them to have a, as close to a normal childhood as possible, and when they came to me and asked me to uh, help them out in the music industry, whichever one that would come first, and that's what I would do. So Carlton happened to be the first one. And he's, as a matter of fact, today he's on his way to Chicago for his first out-of-town recording session. So he's going to be working with some producers, and hopefully later on this year we'll be able to get him a deal. What sort of style is he? What does he, what does yeah. he do? He's R&B, just like Pops, you know. Um, he has a big voice. His voice is even bigger than mine, you know. For a young man, he has like a very soulful voice. And in the music industry right now, there's an empty void for a person, a position like that. And I'm just so hoping. I said, the music industry owes Alexander O'Neill nothing because they've been great to me over the last 30 years. But if they owe me anything, they owe me the right to pass the torch. Yeah, yeah. quite right. If too. I have the right, if I have the right. And if he's like hand. most people's sons, he owes you big time. 
I just want to get him. So I could Probably just get some him. money. It's somewhere. just one of those things. Well, he's always going to owe me. He's not going to even be able to pay me the money. <laughs> That's Listen, Alexander, it's, val it's Valentine's Day soon, and you're, you know, you're a love man. Well, what would you play to get in the mood for a nice evening of love with a lady in your life? Well, this year, obviously, I would play Alex Love. <laughs> yeah. But to be honest with you, my favorite artist who's no longer with us, uh, who if I was really playing love music and I wanted to be really impressive, mm. you can't go wrong if you stick on some Barry White. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't go wrong. What a legend. Yeah. What a legend. Love. So what are you going to sing for us today? You going to pick one from here? Yes. A million Love Songs? I'm going to sing the old Take That Song, A Million Love Songs. And uh, this is a song that I really, really, I, I, when I first heard it, I said, this song is going to be like timeless. Mm. And, and having the opportunity to come back and to do it in a soulful way, a little soulful thing. Uh, with the O'Neill thing. thing. With the O'Neill thing. With the thing. With the thing. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to that. That's at the end of the show. We'll get, let you get yourself ready. And thank you very much indeed. Lovely to see you, Alex. Thank Great you. Thank you. Don't much. look a day older than when you're doing those videos. <laughs> yeah. you look fantastic. Anyway, uh, before that, we've got Nicolas Cage, uh, all the soap gossip, and of course, dancing.